What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys in this video I am going to show you that how you can install OpenSense on a desktop computer and use your desktop computer as a router or firewall. So without further ado let's get started. So guys before installing the OpenSense you have to make sure your desktop computer has at least two ethernet port otherwise this OpenSense will not work. Using this two ethernet port we are going to use one port as a LAN and another port as a WAN. Basically every desktop computer has come with one single port but you can use PCIe external LAN card to increase the LAN port on your desktop computer. In my previous video I already show you how you can use a PCIe LAN card to extend your LAN capability of your desktop computer. Now let me show you how you can install the OpenSense on your desktop computer with the two LAN port. So first of all click on your browser then search on Google OpenSense then go to this first website opensense.org then from here click on this download OpenSense themes button now from here you have to make sure you have select the correct architecture for your computer then you have to make sure you select the VGA because we are going to take use a USB pen drive to install this OpenSense on a desktop computer. Then from here you can select the nearest middle location then click on download and you should get started downloading this OpenSense image zip file. Now after that we need to download one more software and using that software we are going to make bootable USB drive. So take another tab and search on Google Rufus. Then go to this first website rufus.ie then scroll down and click one of this exe file to download the Rufus exe software or Rufus bootable maker software. I had already downloaded both of them so I'm not going to download it again. Now after that you have to connect your USB pen drive with your computer. Let me connect mine. I connected my USB pen drive. Now go to your downloads folder where you keep your OpenSense as file and the Rufus software. Here you can see now first of all what you need to do you have to extract this OpenSense zip file and you will get a new folder like this and into this folder you will get the image file. Now double click on the Rufus exe file and open it. Now you have to make sure you select your correct USB pen drive then click on select. Then select your OpenSense image file then click on open. Then click on start. If you will get this type of warning read it carefully and if you agree with it click on ok and it should start flashing the OpenSense image file into our USB pen drive and make it bootable so that we can use our USB pen drive to boot from it and install the OpenSense on our desktop computer. It's gonna take some time so you have to wait until the flashing has been completed. Ok so here guys you can see our bootable USB is ready. Now we can close this software. Now eject your pen drive from your computer. Then connect your pen drive to your desktop computer where you want to install the OpenSense and you have to make sure during the restart you have to press the boot menu key of your computer and boot your computer from the USB pen drive. So let me do it. My boot menu key is F11. So I'm gonna press my boot menu key and this is my boot menu. Now from here scroll down and you have to make sure you select UEFI USB pen drive. I'm gonna select this then press enter and you will get this OpenSense login screen. So here guys here you can see it automatically assign two ethernet port. One is for LAN and one is for WAN. Now let me show you how you can install. So install it you need to log in as installer. So type the login installer. Then press enter. Then you need to type the password and password is OpenSense. So type here OPN Sense. Then press enter. Okay so this is the OpenSense installer. Now from here you have to select your language. I am going to continue with the default key map. I am going to select it then press enter. And from here I am going to select the UFS format. If you want you can select ZFS or you can select other modes. I know UFS so I am going to select the UFS from here. Then I am going to press enter. Now from here you have to assign in which disk you want to install this OpenSense. I am going to use my internal SSD drive which is 128GB. So I am going to select it then press enter then it's gonna ask you to create a swap partition more than 8 GB. So here I'm going to select yes and press enter. Then from the UFS configuration page select yes then press enter. Now it's going to automatically create a partition and the installation process of OpenSense is gonna take some time so you have to wait until the installation has been completed. Okay guys so installation has been completed. Now if you want you can set and change your root password. So from here select root password then press enter. 
then type a new password for your root account. Here I'm going to type my password, then press enter. Then type it again, then press enter. Then the same page will come up again. Now from here select complete install, exit and reboot, then press enter and your computer will reboot. Now this time your computer will boot with the OpenSense. Here you can see the first screen of OpenSense. There you go. Here you can see the LAN port is RE0 and it has this IP address 192.168.1.1/24 and one interface is RE1 and the IP address is 192.168.0.108. Here I have to mention that my one Ethernet port is connected to my existing Wi-Fi router and using the DHCP server from my Wi-Fi router it automatically fetch this IP address or assign this IP address as the one IP address of my OpenSense. Now we have to use this IP address to access the dashboard of OpenSense. Okay, so guys, now you can see my computer screen again. Now open up any of your browser and visit to the IP address of the OpenSense, which is 192.168.0.108. Then press enter. Then you will get this, your connection is not private, this type of SSL error. From here, select advance, then click on proceed to unsafe. And this is the OpenSense admin panel or login panel. Here type the username root and the password whatever you said during the installation. Then click on login. So this is the OpenSense dashboard. Now from this dashboard you can easily configure your network connection using this setup wizard. Okay, now my OpenSense box is set up. So guys like this you can easily set up OpenSense on a desktop computer and use your desktop computer as a router or firewall. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys if you need to this channel then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I am Mehdi Shakil, you are watching this tech tutorial and I am signing out.